Today we'll be working on this Mitsubishi 3000 GT. The plan is to replace the door and then use the door to determine what we have to do with the quarter panel and the fender. And here's a shot from another angle so you can see exactly what we're working with. Using a mini pogo stick, we'll bring this fender out so we can open this door. And then a spoon. And I'm putting pressure on the pogo stick with my hip, holding this out, and prying this at the same time. While I'm hitting on these high spots, prying out on the low, hitting the high. And that might be enough to open the door. There we go. To remove and replace the door, we're going to remove these four bolts. And the other door is going to be placed in the exact same spot to start with. After removing the trim and fender liner, we replace the door and straighten the fender gap up a bit with the pogo stick and hammer and dolly. The next step is to take care of the dent on the quarter by pulling because we don't want to mess around with the brittle interior parts. Now we'll be pulling from just a little bit of a different spot.
and we're just hitting some high areas, some crowns, and you'll see that it helps to pull the dent out. And now pulling from one more different spot. And now we'll weld some metal along these body lines and pull from there. Instead of sheet metal, I decided to use some shims. These are 1 16th of an inch, and here's a close-up of the placement. 
Since it's so crinkled up, we're going to use a torch to try to loosen that up a bit. And we do have a little bit of a low area right here, and I think I'll weld a little shim right here, and maybe in right here. After moving the shim from right here to over here, we're going to try to pull this last little bit out. And since it's pulling right here a little bit more than over here, I'm going to heat this up. It's really work hardened right there.
before filling, it's a good idea to check for high spots and compare the contour to the other side. So you can use a straight edge like this and just check for any extreme high areas. If you do have any high spots, you can use a body hammer like this and tap them down. Now it is common that you run into a situation where the panel pops in and out. If you do run into that situation, you can check out the video above to see how to fix that. And we'll be starting with the first coat. will just be a layer of fiberglass reinforced filler because it needs to be a little bit thick right here. And we're just going to build it up right there with some fiberglass reinforced filler first and then we'll hit it with the regular filler. So we're not going to worry about this right now, just this body line first. And once we get it close with the fiberglass reinforced filler, we'll be able to get it real close with the regular filler. And it looks thick, but we're going to take a lot of this off. I just want to make sure I'm real close. And right now I'm just worried about this corner. I'm not worried about getting this flat at all, just this body line. Once I get that body line squared up, we'll be able to get this flat.
and I'm not even worried about the correct contour right now just that this line is straight I know I have a little to fill right here And now we'll check it with the trim. And it's close, but we got a little more work to do. After getting it close with the fiberglass reinforced filler, we'll use some regular filler. And this is a Stanley Sureform cheese grater blade. And I'm just, I'm holding it sort of like that. going you know every every different direction if you go one way you got to cancel out that direction the next one and not much pressure now let me get on the other side
that's good for up there. I'm just going to clean this up down here and then we'll hit it with some 36, fresh 36 grit on a medium board. And we're staying real light, light pressure, fresh, clean, sharp sandpaper. Next, we'll finish off the filler with 80 grit, replace the trim, fix up the fender, and prime the repaired areas with two to three coats of primer surfacer. After grinding the front fender clean with a large pad like this, you can see your highs and lows. We're going to clean out the lows with a 5 inch sander or grinder with a cut down 36 grit fiber resin disc. Clean that up and fill it.
and you can use a broken one if you need a shorter cheese grater. And we just have a few little low spots right here to fill in and we'll be finished. By using a cheese grater on your second coat of filler, you don't have to worry about messing up what you already have flat because the cheese grater won't affect that. So we'll just cheese grate this down a little bit and then sand it nice and flat. After the 120 we can use some 240 or 320 up here so that we don't have primer on shiny paint.
Finally, you can use a red scuff pad. This one's cut down for anything else. After the primer dried, we sprayed or cut in the door jam and rocker area and installed the trim. I try to have everything assembled before painting to eliminate scratching the fresh paint, trying to put stuff together. At this point, the repaired and primed areas are ready to be block sanded, primed again, and finish sanded. The whole side will be prepped for paint and we'll be spraying and blending pearl white tri coat. I hope you enjoyed this video on how body shops repair serious collision damage and if you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.